Hello everyone, this is Greg and welcome to this Minecraft build tutorial. On this episode we are going to create a distinct modern house. This modern house is an elevated house and it has unique glass walls along with two rooftop gardens. This modern house has a bedroom, a bathroom, a compact kitchen, and an upstairs sitting area. This build is a fun and easy one to make and I can't wait to show you how to make this design. Also, I'll quickly show you how this house looks in the evening time. This build is broken down into 7 steps, and without further ado, let's start the build. The main materials you'll need to create this modern house are quartz blocks, blue stained glass panes, stone brick blocks, oak fence posts, and oak stairs. Also here's a quick little side note, this modern house is roughly 15 by 16 blocks wide, and it is 13 blocks tall. These dimensions are helpful if you're building a neighborhood and need to know how close you can build next to another house. Step 1. First let's make the oak post that will support the building. Place one oak fence post, then skip an empty space and place another oak fence post. Then we can skip a space and add another post, skip a space, add a post, and we can do this until there are 7 fence posts in the front. Then at the 7th post, we can pivot 90 degrees and add 4 more posts, then double check and make sure there are 5 posts total on this side. Then we can pivot 90 degrees and add 6 more posts along the back, for a total of 7 posts. Then we can raise the height of these posts by two extra lengths. That will make these fence posts a total of three lengths tall. Then let's add a quartz floor on the top. And make sure there's an extra quartz block that overhang past the edge by one block. To double check that you have the right amount of quartz blocks, the quartz base should be 15 by 11 blocks wide. Step two. Next, let's construct the walls in the roof section of this modern house. Start at the left corner of the house and add 8 blocks to the existing base. Then carry this wall all the way to the back of the house. Then at the top of the wall, we can attach 10 extra blocks. Attach these 10 extra blocks to the side of the top block. Then we can carry this roof pattern all the way to the back of the house, adding 10 blocks each time. Then at the right side of the house, we can add 4 additional quartz blocks, and we can carry this pattern to the back of the house. Then at the side of this new wall, we can add 7 additional blocks to create a lower roof overhang. Then we can remove the bottom corner row and replace with quartz stairs. This will help give this building a more curved look. We can do this for the top as well. Then do this for the other side of the house as well, replacing the row of quartz blocks with quartz stairs. Step 3. Next let's install the windows of the front and back sides of the house. I'm going to use light blue glass panes, and start the glass wall at the second quartz block back. Then for the top, we can extend the glass walls out onto the three quartz blocks. Then let's repeat on the back side of the house. To refresh, move in one space and start the glass wall. Then on the lower roof section, extend the glass wall out by three spaces. Then we can connect the glass panes in the middle. Next let's add in a lower and upper level door. Move over 7 spaces and remove 2 glass panes. Then add in an oak door and remove all the glass panes around the door. Then use light blue glass blocks and fill in around the door. Next, for the upper level deck, we can remove the 3 center glass panes. And remove it all the way to the roof. Then we can add in glass blocks and add a door in the center. Step 4. Next let's make the stairway leading up to the house. Move over two spaces from the door and make a four tall stone brick column. Then move over two spaces from the door on the other side and make another four tall stone brick column. 
Make sure that the stairway is centered with the door. Then we can make a column three tall in front of the four tall column. And then we can continue this pattern all the way down to the ground. Then add oak stair treads three wide in the center. Then we can add an oak fence post on top of the stone brick blocks. Step 5. Next is work on the two rooftop gardens. Use quartz slabs and make a border on top of the tallest roof section. Space the border inwards around the top of the roof. Then fill in the center with grass. And we can add in flowers or any vegetables you prefer. I'm going to use rose bushes, lilacs, sunflowers, and tulips. Next we can work on the lower level garden. Use quartz slabs and make a border. Make sure this border is one space in and over. Then we can fill the center with grass and put flowers on top. Step 6. Next is head on the inside and make a room on the first level. In the back right corner of the house, move over three spaces from the glass wall and place a quartz pillar block. Then extend out three extra spaces in front for a total length of four blocks. Then we can carry this wall back to the glass window panes. Then add a door in the center. This will be our bathroom. Then on the third space over, make a quartz column. And make sure this column is flush with the balcony. Then do the same on the other side, moving over three spaces. Then make a column in front of this column, three tall. Then another one, two. Then another column with one block. Then we can remove the extra blocks underneath. Next add oak stairs in the center and glass panes on top of the quartz pillar blocks. Also, I'm going to add in quartz slabs here and glass panes on top for extra balcony space. Step 7. Now we are finished with the house and we can add interior decorating. You can design the inside of the house any way you would like. However, many individuals have requested a step-by-step -step guide on how I do my interiors. First, I'm going to work on the bedroom. Place a bed in the corner. Then replace the floor with sea lanterns. and then cover with carpet. Then place a dresser at the foot of the bed, and this dresser is made out of dark oak blocks, and these trap doors will act as cabinet doors. Then we can add a chest, and a lamp made out of end rods. Then place a carpet on top, and this carpet will be a lampshade. Then we can add in a few paintings. Next, let's work on the bathroom. Place a cauldron in the corner, and fill it with water. Then we can make a faucet out of a lever. Then place an upside down quartz stairs for a toilet. And use an iron trap door on top, as this iron trap door will act as a toilet seat. Then we can add an extra lighting in the floor. Then we can add carpet on top of the sea lanterns. Then we can place item frames on the walls and put potions inside the frames. Then add a dark oak block for a counter. Then finish with paintings. Then outside the bathroom, we're gonna place two hooks. Then let's move on to the compact kitchen. Place iron blocks with trap doors and two levers on the side. This will be the refrigerator. Then we can make counters out of dark oak planks and carpet on top. Then add a cauldron and fill it with water. Then we can place a furnace and this will be an oven. Then we can add lighting in the floor with a carpet on top. Also, we can make an area rug or an entrance rug. Then upstairs, we can add flower pots on the sides and paintings on the adjacent wall. 
Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about the build or like to leave some feedback, I'd love to hear it. Also, make sure to subscribe because I create building tutorials just like this one every week. I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys.